Hi everyone! Thank you guys for checking out today's Canva tutorial video. Today we're going to learn how to create a hyperlink planner using Canva and Google Sheets. So let's get started. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is to have our Canva tab and our Google spreadsheet ready and all set. Okay, now let's go back to Canva and here on our home page we're going to go to the custom size button and input our desired dimensions over here. Choose your desired unit and input your width and height and then click on create new design for you to be taken to the Canva editor. Okay, so first we're going to have to create a planner before we can actually link our um, Google Sheet onto it. Let me just create a quick example for you. So I'm going to go to text first and create um, add a text box. Click on add a text box, I mean. I'm going to put this over here and say week number one. We're going to put that over here. And I'd like to just simply add a shape. Go to um, lines and shapes and choose this one. So we're going to pretend that this is going to be our week number one. And if you want to link your Google Sheet onto it, you're going to have to go to your Google Sheet, click on File, click on Share, and click on Share with Others. Copy your link. Go back to Canva and then click on your text, click on more or the three dot button. And then from the drop down, you're going to select. Ooh, let's try that again. From the drop down, you're going to select link or you can simply press control plus K on your keyboard. So enter your link over here and hit enter. And the link's been added. If you want to check to see if it's working, then go to share and then go to view only link. Um, copy this link and open it in another tab. And here we are. So we're going to try to open it. So if you hover on top of it, you'll notice that your cur cursor changes. So go ahead and click on it and it'll open your Google Sheet for you. Okay, so as you can see, our Google Sheet has been successfully opened. That means our Google Sheet has been successfully linked over here. And that's how you add a hyperlink to your design. Of course, our planner is looking very plain and boring. So we're going to have to take care of that. At uh, this time, we're going to have to design or create a design for our planner. Feel free to design your planner however you want to. In my case, I just want to do something like this. I'd like to create some boxes. Probably going to make them a bit smaller so that at least four boxes could fit. I'm going to duplicate it, put it here, duplicate it again, and there we go. I just want to make sure that it's inside the uh, border. So yeah. Perhaps we can adjust it more. I'm going to delete these again and duplicate this one again. And let's see. Okay, that's where I like it. Just going to bring this, bring that over here. Okay. And now I'm going to copy or duplicate this one again and put the other one over here. We're going to do the same thing. Duplicate, duplicate. And as you can see, we have a pretty large space in the middle. So let's go ahead and take care of that by doing this. That should be okay. And I just want to make sure that it's even, so I'm going to do something like that. Okay, good. 
I'm going to delete the others over here. Select both of these and duplicate. Duplicate, duplicate. Let's see. Okay, good. Now I'm going to change our font to, oh, first, I'd like to change our color to something nice. So let's do that. Okay, I'm just going to click on the three dot button again and click on copy style and paste it here to change our color. There we go. Now we're going to take care of our texts. So as for me, I'd like to change it to a nice um, font. I think that's nice, but I'd like to go with something cute, like this one. We're going to change it to um, a different color, like that. Okay, I'm just going to duplicate this one. And since it's a duplicate, it's going to obviously carry the link along with it. I'd like to remove the link and replace it later on, so I'm just going to delete it. So this is going to be week, week number two. Okay, we're going to duplicate this one, put it here. Duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. Okay, this is going to be week number three. This is going to be week number four. This is going to be week number five. And we're just going to have this one say notes. We actually have two extra here, so maybe we could just copy this one and say notes. There we go. And now, um, if you want to add lines to your um, planner here, just simply, pl simply press L on your keyboard and a line will automatically appear. So I'm going to place that line over here. And I think our line is too thick, so maybe we can change that. Um, we're going to go over here on the line style button on the toolbar above. And you can adjust your line weight by dragging the slider or by inputting values over here. I think 1.5 would be okay for me. Maybe just one. Yeah, I think one's enough. And I'd like to change our f um, color to something like this. I'd like to make our um, line longer as well. This is my challenge when it comes to lines in Canva, because sometimes it's not really straight. It's like slanted. So what I'd like to do is just um, do something like that and use these as my guides to see if my line is um, not slanted. So I'm just going to duplicate this. Duplicate, duplicate, duplicate again. And if you want to make sure that your lines are properly spaced, then you can select all of your lines, go to position, and click on tidy up. But since tidy up is not available or is grayed out, that probably means our line's fine. So I'm just going to place this back over here. Okay, and if you like, you can add decorative elements to your um, design. So go to elements and find anything that you'd like to design this with. I'm going to try doodle and go to graphics and look for cute doodles that I might 
find over here. I'm going to change it to a different color. What about that? Perhaps this one's nice too. Put that here and change it to a different color. Yeah, I think I like it. This one as well. And I think I'm just going to Okay, I thought I'd like to um, duplicate that and place that here, but this one looks good too. I'm just going to change it to this color and to this color and put it backward. Let's add more. Perhaps I'll copy this flower, place it over here, make it smaller. And okay, I think we don't need to go overboard, so perhaps that should be it. And once you're happy with your design, you can finally save it or download it. So go to share above, click on download, and in order for your link to become clickable, then the best option for you would be PDF standard. Otherwise, your link will not be clickable. Um, but before you do, use PDF standard, you can actually input anything you want to input here. So input whatever you want to input on week number one, week number two, and so on and so forth. And once you're done, go ahead and click on download. And there you have it. We hope you found today's video of help somehow. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more Canva tutorial videos. Thanks so much for watching. We hope to see you in the next video. You guys have a great day.